I'm Richard Browning, founder and chief test pilot from Gravity, and I'm doing a short series of films to address the, frankly, thousands of questions we've had over the last few weeks from all across social media. I think you guys like us. We're a bit stuck at home. My lab here is right next to my home, which is very fortunate, and we're getting on with some R&D, but actually I think now would be a great opportunity to try and tackle some of those questions. So we'll divide this up into, into a series. Uh, and uh, please keep throwing questions at us as well as we go along. Right now, we'll focus on engines. Lots of people ask us about engines. We fly using micro gas turbines, so they are like little baby versions of the same engines that you'd have on a jet airliner to go on holiday with, or a jet fighter. They take kerosene, diesel, or paraffin, or jet fuel. We can run any of those fuels. They're all very similar. They're not gasoline, and they're not hydrogen, and it's not nuclear, and it's not electric. They are all of those kind of fuels. The, the jet fuel or diesel are the two we run the most of the time. And the fuel goes into the engine, it burns, it creates expanding hot air, and then that hot air is driven out the back end, and that blast of hot air pushes the engine in the opposite direction. So that's how we create the thrust. Now, we tend to fly with two engines on each arm and one larger one round the back. And between those five engines, they create enough thrust, a bit like sort of fire hoses of water, they create enough thrust to then lift the pilot off the ground. Uh, when you add up all the engines, I've got lots of questions about um, how many engines and why so many engines, or, or how do we come up with five? Well, if you add up the weight of the pilot and the weight of the equipment, the equipment's about 30 kilos, so what's that, about 55, 60 pounds, something like that, uh, at the most with fuel in. Then you add in the weight of the pilot, let's say 80 kilos, uh, what's that, 170 pounds, um, you've got to create enough lift to lift all of that up in the air by, by literally blowing all that air downwards. So you can work out quite quickly, you have to keep adding engines until you can, at least on paper, add up to enough thrust to be able to get you and the equipment off the ground. That was the first challenge. So when you add up the four arm engines and the one bigger one on the back, the bigger one on the back is about the same as one pair of arm engines. When you add all of those up, it comes to about 144 kilos of thrust, which is 320, uh, 320 pounds. Uh, and then that's more than enough to lift the equipment and, this, the, uh, and the pilot. We also lose some of that thrust because as you notice, when myself or one of the pilots are moving their arms around, then unless they're pointing their arms perfectly downwards, some of that thrust is wasted. It's kind of spilled off to the side, in which case you have to have a bit more than you'd think in order to be able to kind of lose some of it, to turn around corners and to stabilize. And, and, and to really reinforce how we manage to achieve all that maneuverability and control, it's all about where you point your arms. If you point them gradually downwards, as your arm point down and down and down, more and more of that power goes downwards and then that lifts you up more and more effectively. If you wanna come down, you flare your arms out and come back down again. The sideways movement is kind of similar. You just point one arm off to one side and guess what, that just starts to blow you the other way. It, it, it's slightly difficult to explain because a bit like riding a bicycle, until you've been on the bicycle, somebody describing to you how a bicycle works doesn't sound like it should work. It's the same with this. I had some other questions around how hard is this to learn to fly? Well, actually, a bit like a bicycle again, surprisingly, when you've got that safety tether system in place, it's really not very difficult. So to recap, we use micro jet engines, little gas turbines. They run jet fuel or diesel, and it's all controlled by thrust vectoring. In other words, where you're controlling the thrust, where you're pointing it. So that's it for episode one. There's gonna be a whole series of these. We're gonna enroll some of the other pilots, some of the engineers. We're gonna go through crazy things like a lot of the fails, a lot of the crashes. Uh, we're gonna go through all the forward plans in terms of what the race series is gonna look like. There's gonna be a lot that we've got to share. And we're probably only gonna to touch the sides when it comes to your questions. Uh, there is my dog in the background as well. Um, Please share your uh, thoughts in, in the comments below. Please subscribe because then you'll catch the next in the series. And we look forward to hopefully sharing with you more of this marvellous journey.